Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow's up nearly 600 points, nearly 2%, 2 percent, 2 and a quarter percent for the S&P. That's 90 points. A little over 3 percent for the Nasdaq 100, 368 points, 2 and a half percent for the Russell, 45 there, 4 percent for the semis. They're up 116 points. So we got a rally that is underway. Most likely, that rally is going to extend itself. So this is not the end of the rally. You've got spot volatility trading out at 20. 2739. I believe that is below the 50 day exponential moving average. Of course, we'll check in on that here shortly. Gold is uh, flat, trading out at 1845. Silver's up eight pennies, lights recruit up a buck, trading out at 113.23. And 30 year treasury off 24 ticks, 141.03 is the print there. So let's go see what all this means by taking a look at that nine panel market update chart. If we look at the ES mini in the upper left hand side, price is above its descending trend line. It's above the center of its bull structured profile. That says price is going to go target at at least 4168. My thinking is it probably gets above that. Now, Spot Volatinics at the moment is trading below its 50 day exponential moving average. The 50 day is priced at 2755. Price right now for the VIX is at 2739. A close below 2755 today is going to suggest a further move lower. That further move lower likely to go target 2125. If it does that, the SP 500, the ES Mini is going to go much higher. How much higher? Well, I'd say that the target of 4354 cannot be ruled out. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ likely targeting the 12622 level out there. The U.S. dollar index has found some support at the bottom of a daily profile. If it does move low over the course of the next couple of days, it could form a TD nine count bottom. But right now, the level of support is 101.91, and price is holding that level. Gold has pulled back a bit, traded slightly below yesterday's low. So certainly nothing bullish out here with regard to Goldilocks. Silver an inside day here, an inside day suggests that the uh, trend that is in place will continue. But there's resistance for silver, and that's at 22.26. Lights we crude above trend line resistance now heading to its prior swing point high at 116.43. Natural gas will complete a TD9 count today. That suggests one of two things. Either we see a retracement or if we see price trade above, close above today's high, that's going to tell you about a very strong momentum move to the upside. The 30-year Treasury trading right into a descending trend line, but also trading into a rising trend line out there. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show, but if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one, and join me tomorrow morning at uh, 8.06 sharp. I'm going to be recording tomorrow's Trader's Ed Show between 8 and 9, so we'll certainly look at the future's markets at that moment. Have a terrific Thursday, folks, and we'll see you again soon.